If you are used to right click in Windows, or if you love Mac shortcuts, you need to know about the secondary click on the Mac. Either with two fingers on the trackpad, uh, or the bottom right corner of the trackpad, or the not clearly defined right side of the Apple mouse, uh, I'm gonna show you how to set that up and give you some pro tips for what you can do with it. Once you have secondary click set up and working for you, you can do cool stuff like ejecting a hard drive before you leave with your laptop, or taking a bunch of things from your desktop and sticking them into a folder, or quitting open apps in order to speed up your Mac. To turn on secondary click, you just go into the Apple menu and then system preferences. And then if you're on a laptop, go to trackpad. And under point and click section here, you'll see the option for secondary click. And just turn this checkbox on. And then you've got some options here. You can click with two fingers, click in the bottom right corner, click in the bottom left corner, choose the one you like. Uh, and if you have the Apple mouse, the magic mouse, just go into the mouse section in System Preferences. And then again, under point and click, make sure that you turn on the checkbox here for secondary click, and then set it to click on the right side. And now, drum roll please, I'm going to show you some of my favorite uses for secondary click. When I have a PDF that's opening with Acrobat and I want it to open with Preview, I just right click, say Open With Preview. And if I hold the Option key, when I choose that, it says always open with preview. When I want to email something that's on the desktop, I just right click, share, mail. It opens a new email with that image attached. And in email, if I want to file a message into a folder, I can just right click and say move to and choose that folder. I can flag things if I want reply, forward, etc. In the calendar, if I have something in the wrong calendar, so it's the wrong color, you can just right click it and say calendar and move it into a different color, different calendar. And when I'm working on writing something, I can just right click on pages or Microsoft Word and recent docs that I've been working on, they show up just in this little menu here. If I'm somewhere that has multiple printers, uh, I'll just go to System Preferences, and then Printers and Scanners, and right click on the printer that I want to be the default. And so anytime I go to print, that'll be the one that is the first choice. And when I'm listening to music, either in the Music app or in iTunes or Spotify, just right click and you get controls here for next song or previous. And in the Photos app, you get some great options. You can right click and you can rotate, you can share the photo, you can add it to an album, etc. And if I'm actually working on a document and I'm not sure where this is, I just right click the name in the top middle of the window and it shows me the file and folder hierarchy. And I can go to the folder that contains this one and see where it is in my finder. And if I'm working on a note, if I wanna do a quick spell check, if something is red underlined, just right click and it gives you the options to fix it right there. And if I wanna turn something into a checklist, I just highlight the text, right click, and say checklist. And last but not least, if you're working in Numbers or Excel, you can just right click the column header to add a column before or after. And same with a row, you can right click and add a row above or below. But you get the idea. Practice and just right click on anything. You can't do any harm. You'll get some really cool options. Boom, Mac Epiphany. To get these life-changing tips in PDF format, just head to macandhome.com slash shortcuts. I'm gonna teach you how to do it and how to set it up and some fantastic time-saving pro tips that you can do with oh, that. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> 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 it's always right at the end, right?